Now that you know some of the key concepts behind PHP object-oriented programming, you're going to learn to put it to work in a real and practical sense by creating a password strength class. So if you're still having trouble understanding when and why to OOP, and you would like a real-world exercise, this is the lesson for you. Making sure that user passwords are strong is a great security barrier for any interactive website. And the reason why we will objectify this code is so that other PHP site owners can use it without learning the procedural code. And if you would like it to wind up in a free PHP class file repository online that everybody can share, we must objectify it and use a class file. You don't have to objectify and use object-oriented programming in class files unless you have a practical reason for doing so. And just because that you know object-oriented programming does not mean every bit of code in your applications should be changed over to that style. So you would really only turn to creating class files when you have a good practical reason for doing so. And there are some very good practical reasons for doing so, such as sharing it in free PHP class files repositories online. You can't share it there. You can't share it with any of the people that know object-oriented programming in PHP unless you objectify it. And it also comes in handy to have a class file when you want to modulate things. You can also modulate things without having a class file, but it's a good way to go about it when you need modulation. And you're also getting an experience building homework assignment in this lesson. And the homework assignment is intended to test your resourcefulness and your nerd abilities. First, make sure you have two PHP files ready, strongpass.php and demo.php. Strongpass.php is going to be your class file. So type in class, strongpass, open curly brace, and go down and close in curly brace. Now you have an empty class, strongpass. Now the first thing within strongpass is going to be a method. Say public, function, and we'll name it simply check. Open close parentheses, open in curly brace, go down a few lines and close in curly brace. Now function check is going to need to be fed one parameter, which is going to be the password string for what the user is typing into the form. So let's just make that aptly named password. Now within this method, or function, we'll create a local variable called response. And we'll make its value equal to OK. Because at the end of the method, down at the bottom here, we're going to return response. So response starts out as OK and then it's returned here down at the bottom. But in between these two points, we're going to do some if conditions, some evaluation on that password string. The first check that we'll put in place will determine whether or not the password string is less than eight characters. And if it is less than eight characters, we're going to change this response from OK to something else. So let's type in if, get the if statement all ready to go. And we're going to use the strlen function in PHP the string length function. I call it strlen, but it stands for string length. So if the string length of the password is less than eight characters, we're going to change response to this. Password must be at least eight characters. That way when response is returned down at the bottom here, it won't be OK anymore. Now I'm going to pop into place an else if condition that says else if is numeric password then the response is going to change to password must contain at least one letter. Because when you run the isNumeric function over a string, it's checking to see whether that string is all numeric. And if it is all numeric, then you know it has no letters in it. And a strong password must contain at least one letter. Actually, it should contain at least two letters. It should contain an uppercase letter and at least one lowercase letter. This is checking just to make sure it has at least one letter in it. Now I'm going to pop in one more condition to check and see if we have a match for any numerals or numbers in that password string. So for instance, if somebody puts all letters in, you want to make sure they have at least one number in their password to make it a strong password. So if there is no preg match, for numbers in the password, then the response becomes password must contain at least one number. Blech. Now before I show you that demo.php, I'm going to give you your homework assignment now. And I'll just type it right into here. Okay, so you have additional checks that you must accomplish as your homework. You have to make sure there is at least one lowercase letter in the password. 
You have to make sure there is at least one uppercase letter in the password. You have to make sure there is at least one symbol character in the password. Now there's a whole lot more logic and strength checking that you can do. But remember, this is not a strength checking tutorial. This is an object oriented programming tutorial because you guys were expressing to me that you wanted to see more real world examples. I'm just trying to show you how to create class files and why you would want to create class files. Okay, now let me show you what's in demo.php. First we have a form that parses to demo.php. So this page parses to itself. And if you want, you can echo out server PHP self there. But I just wanted to keep it simple, so I put demo.php. And the PHP that parses it is right in the top here, and I'll discuss that in just a second. This is the PHP script that connects to that class. So the form action is post. That means it'll post the variable of password to this file, this parsing script. And this is set up very basic, just for a, a tiny little demo. And after you have the password field, you have a submit button that says check password strength. Now down here in the bottom of the HTML section of this file, I'm echoing a variable called status because that's going to let the user know. Actually, I can show it to you right now before I even show you the parsing script. So here's the application running live. Now if I put in a password, say of three characters, check strength, it says password must be at least eight characters. So then I'll add more characters to that, check strength, password must contain at least one number. So I'll put a number in there, check strength, password is strong, so parsing can continue here. That's how it works, okay? So you see the form and the user interface that I was just using is sitting right here. Now let's talk about the PHP that occurs when this parsing mechanism is called into action. So the first thing we do is create two local PHP variables, one for the password and one for the status. And those are placed into the HTML. They're echoed into the HTML down on the page. That way the user can just fix their password that they were already typing in and they don't have to start over. And that's only for this demo. Remember, this is just a very basic demo and these things are put into place for that reason. So if the posted variable of password is set, then this little bit of code will execute. But if that variable of password is not posted, then this code won't run. So the first thing we do inside of that is we gather up the posted variable into a local variable called password. Then we include once our strong pass class. So right here is where we are calling our strong pass class into action because we're going to create a new strong pass object instance and we're going to name it strong pass. So once we have this object instance ready, then we can go ahead and call that method check and pass any variables that we want to that function. So we create a variable called response. And then all we do is we run the check method on the password string that the user's typing in. And you're going to get a response of either OK or some error message. So all you have to do is evaluate that response. So you say if response does not equal OK, then you're going to put in the status area down here on the page the response, whatever the error message was. Else, you can put in the status for the demo, password is strong, so parsing can continue here. But if this was your actual parser, you wouldn't want to just display things to the page like we're doing for this demo. You would want to continue your parsing here. That's why I wrote, parsing can continue here. You can add that password to the database or do whatever you got to do at that point because the response is okay at this point. Okay, so now you can see the practical essence of using class files. And it's also more practical and more important when you're going to share things with other people that know object-oriented programming. And remember, you have some homework to make this more powerful. And you also might want to check to make sure that the user's name isn't within their password. Some people will put their username directly in their password or use their username as their password, which is retarded. So you want to make sure they don't do that.